guys, welcome back. It's me, Devaraj. Welcome back to this series on bioenergetics today. We're going to look more deeply at the bow posture. Now, if you're doing bioenergetics regularly or you're a, you know, a subscriber to this channel and this kind of thing, then hopefully you're doing a lot of bow posture. And what I've noticed over the years uh, is that for some people, they need a slight variation of it, basically. And I've been researching this a bit extra recently when uh, a chap who's on bioenergetics for journey for 52 week intensive, uh, online intensive, was communicating with me about some of his stuff and I looked a bit more into it and did some reading and stuff like that. So I wanted to put out some of that stuff. And before we go there, you know, and get into the bow posture, something I also want to make clear is not to get too pernickety about this thing. You know, the underlying thing with bioenergetics is you need to keep doing it, you need to keep breathing and you need to keep feeling. And yes, you want to get the posture correct as you can, but you know, a slight shift of half an inch here or there is unlikely to make so much difference. What I see sometimes is there's a lot of discussion, you know, and uh, some people are absolutely convinced that if you don't do it exactly this way or whatever, something terrible is going to happen or you're not going to get the benefit. This is too much people in the head. You know, it's kind of crazy because the underlying thing with bioenergetics, of course, is that we're trying to bring more awareness back into our body so we can really feel our body. And, and, and our emotions too, our body and our emotions, and less of this mind analytical stuff. But of course, being human, that stuff goes on. But I wanted to mention this because, you know, don't get too caught up in it. Don't get too caught up in it. What is important with the bow is that you practice it regularly and you keep breathing and feeling into it. Now, the classic bow as I teach it is your feet and, and something even to mention is that there's quite a lot of disparity around that, what to even call this posture. Some people will call it the arch. I call it the bow because it's shaped like an archer's bow. Of course, arch like archer makes it even more confusing. But basically, the bow posture, you stand with your feet less than shoulder width apart, the outsides of your feet roughly parallel. Stretch your arms up, palms facing forwards. Stretch your arms back, press your pelvis forward, stick your chest out, but keep your neck upright. So you're trying to get your body into the shape of a bow, of an archer's bow, but you're keeping your head out of that. And breathe and feel into it. Everybody will do this posture a little bit different. My lower leg, my lower body posture, uh, actually in this pose is not perfect in the sense that I have a, uh, a thing with my Achilles tendons. So, uh, you know, if, you're, if yours doesn't look like mine, don't worry about it too much. But if you follow those back movement, arms up and stretch those arms back to compress the shoulder blades, push the pelvis forwards and breathe through the mouth, sticking your chest out so your chest is open. This is the classic bow as I'm teaching it. Now, for some people, maybe 10, 20% of people, they get quite a lot of pain around the upper part of the lower back or the middle of the back. It aches a lot there and it doesn't feel good. And something you can do if, if this is happening for you is to use a slight variation of this pose, which is to put a little bit more bend in the knees. It's just, it's subtle. This is subtle. It's not, a, it's not like a huge change. And a little bit more bend in the knees and just drop your ass back slightly, still pressing your body forwards into this bow shape. But instead of fully pushing my pelvis forwards now, I'm going to just drop it tiny slightly back. I'm just flexing my knees an extra half an inch. My pelvis comes back maybe half an inch, an inch, 10, 20 centimeters, 10, 20 millimeters. The feeling now is that I'm more my, my, I'm, 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 like, I'm a bit more grounded in it. I'm a bit more grounded. So my pelvis being fully extended forwards, it's a little bit back. My, 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 the small of my back is still pressing forwards from here. In fact, a lot of people will do the bow posture with their fists, gentle fists in the lower back like this. So this is a variation. This is the first one pelvis fully forwards, but if you find you have a lot of flexibility in your mid-back and your mid-back starts to get achy in this posture, then you can drop, take a little bit more bend in the knees, it's hard to see, it's such a subtle difference. Ho 
if you want to be practicing this and other bioenergetic exercises for a while, of course you feel your body more and these subtle changes are quite evident on the inside even if you can't always see them exactly. So I can still stretch back, it's a subtle difference. It's anyway good to experiment with a bit of variation if you're doing bioenergetics all the time. You know, if you're doing it daily or several times a week, it's good to experiment. So give it a try, leave me a comment and let me know how it goes. And I hope that's useful for you if you have, if you are finding the bow painful and it's kind of frustrating and you're kind of, oh my God, am I getting it right? Or is this really the right thing for me to do? That kind of thing. Give this variation a try. Okay, guys. Oh, and by the way, of course, you know, if you're getting benefit from these exercises, um, you've got to consider, you know, what, was it, what would it be like having me as your online trainer, you know, in your own room for the next 52 weeks? And yeah, that might be a bit scary, you know, it might be a bit scary, but, uh, you know, I'm probably a bit scared about it myself. But imagine also how much change and development you could make, how much discipline you would get in your life in a healthy way as well. So check out Bioenergetics for Journey. It's now available and people are signing up and we're going on a deep journey together. You can sign on at any time. You get a different posture and work out about a half an hour, but you do seven times on separate days and then you move on to the next week. Okay, guys, speak to you later. Keep doing the bioenergetics. We're going into 2020 and we're going to be good. Oh, yes.